beautiful. <laughs> I'm so gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. And if you need to cry, feel bad. <laughs> you will not be the first person, but it will. This is absolutely you. adorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I can move pretty quickly. Um, Vivian in the morning is usually a lot quicker because it's breakfast time. So she hasn't had anything to eat since yesterday afternoon. So this is actually fast? <laughs> yeah, this is fast. Um, usually uh, a wild sloth that only eats uh, leaves and things like bark, not a lot of energy in those items. Uh, they only live at an average speed of about six feet per minute or so. Uh, so if you can imagine walking six feet, it would take a whole minute to do it. Uh, it's actually pretty hard for us to do. Very easy for the sloth. Uh, here they get a much more variety uh, in their diet. So one of the main things they're going to eat is leaves. They also get a special biscuit called a leaf eater biscuit. Uh, it's basically no. take everything that a leaf eater would eat and sort of mash it up into a weird granola bar. I'm sure it doesn't taste particularly uh, good. It's probably pretty bland. But it's nice and healthy, so she gets that. But her favorites are the sweet things, just like for us. It's a sweet potato she loves. Uh, she also gets papaya and apple, which she likes. Uh, and one of Have her favorite foods, I think they tried cranberries yesterday. And we also give them cranberries when they're in season, which just happened. So you guys are some of the first to see her eat a cranberry, which is pretty fun. No. <laughs> uh, but they're just like us, any of the sweeter foods they're gonna like to eat. But because ours get a much more uh, higher energy diet, they tend to move a little bit quicker. You guys want to start? Come on up. Um, George Bean. No, you know what? Start with the other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wants to see what. <laughs> you won't have to tell him twice. Yeah. All right, you ready? Come on up. Just put it in her mouth. Oh, no, you want to use your fingers like you're feeding her a french fry. There you go. Good job. Oh, my God, that's adorable. <laughs> Now when she's eating, if you take a look inside of her mouth, you'll see four pretty sharp teeth. Uh, I call them vampire fangs, but they're actually a special type of premolar. So they're not like our uh, canine teeth that are sharp. But they are made for gripping and ripping really tough things. Uh, most of the leaves in the rainforest have really thick cellulose coating. So those sharp teeth help them cut through that and also let them chew up bark. And then they have more molars in the back. Mom, now I can, can I try one? Can I try one picture? <laughs> yeah, oh God. Well, if you feed this off. They also do have a pretty cool tongue. Uh, it's probably a little bit more muscular than ours is because its job is to help shuttle food yeah. down. So if you watch while she eats, she'll stick it out in front of her mouth and then use it for the full food. Thank you. I think she's like, yeah, yeah that's good. Good. They are naturally more of a nocturnal animal. Um, the best though is over here during the daytimes, they switch over to more of a diurnal schedule. Uh, but their vision is not very good because of that, because it's harder to see in the dark, but their other senses make up for it. Their sense of smell is by far their best sense. Um, so you might notice when she wants to check people out, she'll sort of turn, turn towards you guys and give you a sniff to see what you like. Uh, and they also have very good hearing. But vision's not particularly good. If you look at her eyes while you're out there, most of her people right now are just little pinpoints. <laughs> She's actually got something on her. <laughs> That's a good question. So how much do they sleep? Um, originally, we thought they slept between about 18 and 20 hours a day. Newer research, though, is looking more like 8 to 12, so more of what we are supposed to get. Um, but that's still all pretty new. They're using a GPS tracking to attach it to wild floss to figure out when they're moving and when they're not. Question? Question. Exactly. <laughs> you are correct. Of course he does that. Because there's a book called Kyle Goes Alone and Floss. Yeah. 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 Yep, so pretty much like 95% of their life they spend hanging upside down, but you are 100% right. To go to the bathroom, they have to come down out of the tree. 
They just don't want to use the bathroom where you eat. It's not a very good <laughs> thing to do. And when did they go? Let's go. Okay. Well, that's right. I'm only a couple times a little afraid, so it'll be fine. <laughs> You're afraid? <laughs> yep, it is. That's time when they're most vulnerable. So when they start by the trees, the only predator these guys have is a type of eagle called the heartbeat eagle, uh, which is one of the largest species of eagle found anywhere in the world. But once they go down to the ground, whether or not they're moving between trees or if they're going to the bathroom, jungle cats are going to be their biggest predators. So things like jaguars and cats. Which is pretty cool. Do you guys ever hold? No, we do not. You don't hold. No, not. So that's right. We didn't want her to get used to that. When she was younger, mm -hmm. um, and then kind of totally changed her mind. Yep, when very they both it's are. very hard if um, the clock doesn't want to come off of you, pull, uh, pull limbs off, and also if they were to get startled or fearful of something, even if they, they really like who they're the holding on to, that's what they're going to bite. Very eventful day. Mm -hmm. um, kind of lose about thirty percent. So of their body uh, it's just safer for her and more comfortable yep. for everyone. It is a lot of large. <laughs> Because they have super so like they. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Nope, they don't. So as the fastest okay. they'll go, yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's probably a pretty brisk walk for us, but they won't do that for very long because they don't have a lot of energy. So you know, if we go running for a long time and get tired afterwards, same thing happens to them. They'll be cruising if they need to for a while, but then they're tired out and they have to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Spots are so cute. Just like that. Oh my goodness. At about a year old, Vivian's not fully grown yet. Um, okay. We're not quite exactly. certain how big she'll get. So if you want to stand, kind of right uh, by that. Typically, they'll range right between there. about 12 and, and 20 pounds. Right here, full size and for the two toed sloths. Wookie is a very large sloth. He weighs about 22 oh, to 23 pounds. Yeah, okay. she's soft. No. Um, um, so here we expect him to live a pretty long time. No, uh, in the wild, maybe about 15 to 20 years. Um, just because here they have a pretty easy, nice free food, no predators. Where did you guys get to meet Wallace? Hmm? Where did you meet Paula? Uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Um, so the heartbeat eagle is one of them, and then when they come down to use the bathroom, uh, jump. I sometimes my mom yeah. has a better picture of me and. Yeah. <laughs> better picture. Well, you'll get another yeah. opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna stand. Yeah, bring the best piece of. Two steps that way. There you go. She is surprisingly hard to get photos of, even though they don't move fast, because <laughs> her head's almost never. Me cricato, cato, toco la kitis, cricato, etc. She's hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she went to the bathroom well, last night. What does that mean? Uh, well, they only go about once a week. So Whoa. if she goes to the bathroom, she's yeah, kind of totally, totally on ease. She's really got space hungry. now. Yeah, lots of space, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> um, whereas if we're gone a couple of days without going to the bathroom, she's kind of oh, don't really I would need like, as much. I would love to hug her. <laughs> Do you guys get to do that? No, we don't actually hold her or pick her up at all. Oh. Wow. Yeah, we're just going to keep going. Mm. So you okay. might think they have a lot of muscles because they spend their whole life doing one giant pull-up. Uh, but really all that lets them do that is how specially designed their arms are. So if you look at their claws, they're perfect little hooks. And even the ligaments on their arm are designed just let them more or less hang just deadly on their arms. So they don't actually have a lot of muscle. Think about what they eat. Perfect. All you eat is lettuce all the time. You keep going. Oh, you go. He must be in heaven. Oh, um, this is like, we both are. We are really <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe you guys get to work with them every day. It is pretty special. I think she was poking her nose out with the cage. Uh, mine are vultures. To get the food. They're pretty cool. They're important. And yeah. there's not a lot of love to go around for my house. <laughs> Look at her stretching. <laughs> Delicious. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> you can step over there and if you want. One of her favorite food items is actually hard boiled egg. Oh. Believe it or not. Wow. Hard boiled egg? Yep. So in the wild when they're in the treetops, if they happen to come across a bird's nest, it's like the best day of the oh. year. Because you cannot beat a bird egg for nutritional value. So bad, bad sloth. <laughs> Someone brought an so eight cool. ball um, in the, um, and I asked it a question. I can't believe how soft she is. Mm -hmm. like yeah, she was actually a little bit softer when she came to us. She was, if you look on our uh, website or our Facebook, she was really, really dark brown, and it was kind of like really soft, like puppy fur almost. And then as they get older, their fur gets longer, blonder, yeah, and a little bit more coarse. Where did it come from? Um, she came from Florida. Florida. There is, yep. 
a retired zoo vet that lives down there that um, breeds a couple different types of animals. And so we got her and Valentino both from Florida, <laughs> but they are not related to one another. <laughs> So this is, is a U.S. Uh, citizen. Hmm? U.S. Um, citizen. Yeah. <laughs> she is a U.S. citizen. Born and raised. Yeah. Throughout Central America. Put your phone. Pretty much. Um, oh. Yeah. You keep dropping your food. Didn't want that one. <laughs> you think she, uh, she didn't like it? Yeah, no, she didn't want it. That's how she'll let you know she doesn't want it. Oh, she spits it out? Yeah. <laughs> you mean if I... I <laughs> Don't trip on that. Okay. Did you spit that out? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so cranberries. She liked the first one. Maybe she just didn't know what it was. <laughs> if I try to give it to her again, you think she's going to spit it out? Mm -hmm. I, have, uh, I have another one. We'll see if this is... They're like not very squishy. No, they're not very squishy. They're very hard. And they're playing around very right. <laughs> I think she's trying to eat it. It's just she's like she's trying. Yeah, she just she doesn't. Just she's not used to it. She can't chew it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a marble. <laughs> New experience. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> she's like, I don't know what to do. Don't spit it towards me. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried to give her like M and M's or something like that? <laughs> just fruit. I think she's going to. Uh, Probably papaya at the moment, but that's really the only one. Uh, that and apple. Oh. I think she's like trying to eat it. Yes, it's trying. That was tough. Here, come here. Let's start again. There you go. Oh. Can you come up a little more? Just like us, Jim. Wow. <laughs> Sorry to take your failures when you're landing that thing. That's okay. It was not very squishy. No, it's not very squishy. What if you wrap one in lettuce and then you put it in? We can try. <laughs> Sometimes with the stuff, when she was younger, she really didn't like the leaf eater biscuit that he was talking about, but it's really good for them. So I would kind of smash it up and mix it in with the stuff that she does really like. Mm -hmm. I can't They're even tell where her bum like is. Right <laughs> <laughs> like we tried uh, carrot with both her and Valentino, and it's not, it's no go. Oh, they don't like carrots? No, they'll taste it, and then they just spin it right back out. <laughs> <laughs> you should have some so we can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can take it from our hands, they'll taste it, and then they'll just push it right back. <laughs> you guys want to go again? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it. Yeah, go for yeah. it. She doesn't mind. <laughs> Here, baby. Here, baby. Got it? Oh, my goodness. Don't say that. You're going to get it. Don't say And when they're younger, so like if you look up pictures when Valentino and Vivian first got to us, and uh, either of you want to cut her, you can just stand right where you did before. Oh. Right mm -hmm. now, but that's the whole way down her body. These two. <laughs> <laughs> As they get older, she'll get more of that beige color for her. But they're still pretty soft. As they get a little bit older. So, you see. Did stuff out when they're a baby? Um, sometimes. It's so like when we were just starting new foods with Vivian, we would start maybe one new thing every couple of weeks. And she would, if she didn't like it, she would just put it out and we would move on to a different food. Oh my goodness. How much food does she eat? Um, so she gets around 100 grams of lettuce. Um, and then she gets two of the cups of the other stuff that Danielle has in her bag. Uh, so a pretty decent amount, actually. Uh, they do eat more than a wild sloth would. Um, so while a normal sloth would use the bathroom about once every seven to 10 days, She's typically every other. Tell them they say. Can I feed her again? One? Yeah, we can actually go through everyone um, one more time and make sure you have all the photos and stuff that you want. I just love Got the way she eats. <laughs> Is this too much for her? Too much food? Yeah. No. no? She uh, self regulates, so she will stop eating when she's not hungry anymore. Oh, I and need that. Yeah. <laughs> can I have that? <laughs> Especially um, the first kind of trick is she'll stop eating spinach. And then ah. I know she's not hungry because that's kind that's of it. her least favorite. But she's still yeah. eating it. So. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what them do. Steps that way because when we walk over there, that's her signal to go crane. So she's really? just Really? Yeah. Aww. It's okay. <laughs> I have more food. <laughs>
Oh, you mean I gave her the wrong signal? Yeah, it's okay. Oh. Come on. 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 Come
Oh, let me see. I don't have anything to give you. Can you find anything? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I got my kiss. Me make you a lot of day. Wow. Yeah. 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 Waving. New blood. <laughs> New nectar. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Why don't you bring it down? So, yay. Can you just do that, my son? Yes, can. Amen. Yes. Three months ago, my son. Beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful, yes. Wow. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, <laughs> can you wave at me? <laughs> yes. This is Isabella. That's Megan. She's still looking rough, but yeah. not as rough when I last saw her. Isabella, can I have a headshot, please? <laughs> Pero me se agarra un día y se sufrió, ¿no? Ya pasó. Ya. ¿Dónde está el otro lado? Y esos son pigeons. ¿Entonces estos son en realidad pigeons? Sí, estos son las largas especies de pigeon. ¿Qué se llaman? Son pigeons de Victoria. ¿Qué son los otros? Los que tienen el pelo verde. We've had a 
Uh, one of those guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are southern bald-headed ibises. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful place. It is. My goodness. Kita kita ini apa nasi apa nasi ini so nest. What is that thing? Awesome. Time to go, I guess. My God, beautiful colors. Wow, look at that beak. Beautiful place. Kita papai ke? Kita pergi kita tu kita tu pada rakyat tu. So cute. Kita tiba kru ni pun ni. Nenek. Ini little thingy. Ah, tak biasa. Kita tak kira nanti show ini mera. Oh my goodness, they're so fast. Oh wow. It's a different beagle though. I think this is a bold eagle. A fun fact, bald eagles' voices are surprisingly weak and high-pitched for their size. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my gosh. The Andean condor.